Howdy, Anson Garcia here with Tier 2 UC Engineering and I'm going to be demo, uh, demoing the iFusion from Altogen uh, today and uh, I'm demoing it for a particular reason um, which I will mention here in a second. Um, anyway, so a, a quick overview of the buttons uh, on this thing. Uh, first we have our Bluetooth button right there at the bottom. So that's how I pair the device. And I'll show you that in a second. And then I have a uh, mute button. I have my speaker phone button and I have my volume button that both um, increases and decreases my volume on my speaker phone. Alrighty. So, um, the, uh, first off, the quality of the sound, both from the handset and the speakerphone, uh, seem quite comparable to a standard um, uh, older Cisco phone. Uh, maybe not the, the quality of like a Cisco uh, 9971, which has G722 and a uh, high quality handset and speakerphone. So, I could certainly tell the difference a little bit. Uh, of course, this is a pre-release uh, version here of the iFusion, so um, maybe they're going to put some more high-quality parts in there. Anyway, but for a general business phone, it was it was fine. I've gotten used to in the lab uh, listening to these other phones, and uh, uh, I slightly can tell, um, uh, especially with my older ears, I can slightly tell that I can uh, distinguish. Uh, syllables better and things like that uh, listening on, on those phones. So, uh, this particular version is the uh, iPhone only and uh, in a few months, as I understand, they're going to come out with a universal dock uh, that will take an iPhone, a Droid, or a Blackberry. So, that's quite interesting. I'm wondering exactly how the dock is going to look like and, and connect. Um, uh, surely this dock is, is, is fairly nice where you can just slip it in there. Um, anyway, the um, the other thing I was going to talk about is how this connects. So I, I think this is where uh, these guys are, are have it right. Um, I've seen a couple of docks out there. Uh, this one seems to do things a little bit different in that the way it connects the mobile device to the docking station is via Bluetooth. So that's why I mentioned this Bluetooth button down here. So uh, pairing was very, very um, quick and simple. You push the button for five seconds, it starts flashing, and then uh, on the iPhone itself, you can, uh, uh, everyone's familiar with how to set up a, a device and pair a device like your a headset or something like that, Bluetooth headset. So very, very quickly uh, you can do that. So very, very easy to get this thing uh, working. The significance I think uh, there is, if you think about uh, you know pairing an iPhone or pairing a, 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 a Bluetooth enabled uh, uh, Droid or Blackberry, all these things support that, that type of, of, of connectivity. Uh, what each of them do different, right, is the actual uh, connection. So this connection, you know, down um, down here, right, that's proprietary. So uh, these guys don't rely, uh, this doesn't rely on this connection, uh, per se, to, to, to connect these two devices. It relies on Bluetooth. The only thing this is providing is uh, a place to dock it so it looks nice and I can interact with the phone right here and I can do even FaceTime uh, and things like that with it uh, and it's at, at the proper height and at the proper angle and things like that and um, charging so that's really it so if I had some universal I don't know maybe a universal connection here where I could slip in and slip out uh, a, a different connection there and for, for uh, you know and it would maybe come with it I don't know how they're going to do it but I, I suspect that they're going to have a universal little connection here and then you can slip in and slip out the Droid X or the Blackberry one or what have you. Something like that. Um, anyway, so that's really significant because uh, then you pair via Bluetooth and any uh, apps that rely on audio work. 
So this is where it gets quite interesting, and this is why I made this video. Um, if I go to my, uh, this is connected to UCAS, Verizon UCAS, and there's my little Cisco mobile phone, or excuse me, Cisco uh, UC mobile communicator. Uh, right, and I'll just show you how that works here real quick. Let me, um, I'm already paired. When this, this light is solid right here, that means that I'm, I'm in proximity. You can see if I, I take this out of the dock, that light doesn't go off. So I'm still, my phone is still paired with that dock. So any, any phone calls coming in and things like that will still come in. But I'll, I'll throw it in there just for now so you can see that. Uh, I'm going to make a call to that. You see my incoming call. I get a ring through the speakerphone. I can answer that. And I'll get a little bit of echo here. I will uh, put myself on mute. And uh, put myself on mute over here just so I don't get any feedback or echo. But there I, there I am. I'm on speakerphone here. I'm talking to, uh, I just, you know, dialed off from this phone to that phone. Uh, I guess all this is uh, connected to you, uh, Verizon UCAS. And uh, now I can pick up the handset if I want to, so you can see, um, you know, if I'm on speakerphone, I need to pick up the handset, uh, you can see the speakerphone uh, button goes off. And then I can, I can go back and forth if I need to, just like a regular phone. Okay, I can go back on speakerphone there. And the neat thing is, uh, if you look at this here, I can take this right out of the dock, and I'm still connected over here. My speakerphone is still working, so I can take that off and, and start talking. You hear my uh, echo uh, coming from the other uh, the other phone over there. All right, so I don't have all I need to do is have this in proximity, uh, and that's what that's the really cool thing I think uh, that's um, uh, that's significant here. So. Uh, if you think about that, again, uh, all they really need to do is change this little dock or make it universal or, or uh, make it an interchangeable one. And you can put, uh, you know, uh, uh, Droid X, Droid, uh, Blackberry, whatever you need uh, there. That next version that has a universal dock, uh, obviously, um, um, uh, you know, depending on how the phone's going to go, and especially Blackberries, you can't really dial up. That one will have, as I understand, a, a number pad, so you'll be able to dial also, which will be uh, kind of neat. Uh, kind of similar to the Verizon Wireless Droid X dock uh, that we've uh, probably seen, or you guys have probably seen before. Okay, so I'm going to go back here, I'm going to my mobile app, and then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and hang up here. All right, uh, the only thing I'm going to show you, in addition to what I've already showed you, is again this thing is paired and uh, you know which is I think is kind of neat this is kind of a toy thing but I can go to my iPod and play it and it's All he could think about was playing through the speakerphone here so that's kind of neat to have that in the background maybe if you're in your office or something like that you know um, I think it's kind of neat but um, um, if you get an incoming call I call. Music goes off. I hear the speakerphone ringing, and then I can answer. All right, and then my music goes off, and then here I am on speakerphone, uh, talking to uh, the uh, uh, calling party. All right, and then I can end that call, and my music comes back on. So that's kind of neat. Not really businessy, but. Uh, if that's a word, but uh, for the business environment. But I thought it was kind of neat that the, it still does that and uses that same interaction uh, uh, that the iPhone has inherently uh, native into it, or the same functionality that the iPhone has uh, natively. Uh, okay, and I think um, that is about it that I wanted to show you. Thanks for listening today.